Hi, everybody, and welcome to uh, another segment from this week's Jimmy Dore Show. I'm joined by Frank Connor from Mystery Science Theater 3000. And uh, Frank, you're, you Twitter, don't you? I've been known to tweet in my day. He's a tweety were, mm. and uh, so check him out on Twitter. Is what I'm saying. Yes, They're please do. I, I I live for followers and retweets. So. Yes, uh, you know, like like we've said before on the show, you don't have to be right, but you do have to be retweeted. Exactly. Okay. So now let's get to. Uh, you know, we've got an endless, endless examples of how the, the, the media mm -hmm. is letting us down and not doing their job, mm -hmm. right? Um, so here's another one. Uh, I was watching this week with George Snuffleupagus, but they had, <laughs> they had a uh, guest host, Jake Tapper. I don't know Jake if you know Tapper. Jake Tapper. He uh, mm -hmm. fancies himself a libertarian, I think. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Uh, so I was watching him, and he tried to give... Uh, tried to frame the subjects that they were going to be talking about, the big economic uh, problems that America is facing. Now, I'm going to play this for you. I've debated about how, how to play this. I, uh -huh. I should chop it up and stop it and mm. correct him at every point. Mm. I'm just going to play you the whole thing. Okay. And it's about a minute and a half long. And I think it'll give you the entirety of it is kind of like mm. overwhelming. The, mm. now, you, you just, if you're, if you're playing at home, count how many times he says something that's blatantly false or frames it in a completely misleading way. Remember, mm. this is the guy who's supposed to be informing you. He's, mm -hmm. the, he's the journalist guy. Okay, mm. here we go. Do you hear that in the distance? Two ticking time bombs threatening to send the economy back into recession or worse. The first, just over four months until it detonates. It's that fiscal cliff you've heard about. Unless Washington gets its act together. Let's get the job done, and let's not play political games. A big if. As we ring in 2013, the ball will also drop on the economy. Huge automatic government spending cuts. $110 billion total. That's like wiping out the economy of both the Dakotas and Montana overnight. Goodbye, Mount Rushmore. Simultaneously, tax increases will kick in for everyone. The Bush income tax cuts, gone. Same with the payroll tax cut. For a middle class family of four, a tax bill more than $2,000 higher. And that's just the short term challenge. The long term picture, even worse. Okay, we'll stop it right there. We're, wow. Actually, I'm going to stop it in the high. I changed my mind. I stopped it halfway. Mm -hmm. so, oh, there's more? So there's. I don't know how many blatant falsehoods you picked out there, mm. but he's trying to make it look like the, uh-oh, middle class is going to get screwed when they let the Bush tax cuts expire. Yes. Yeah, because... He's, he's framing it from a Republican point of view. Yes. Those tax cuts are not... Those, those, the majority of those don't help the... Mm -hmm. It's actually ballooning the deficit because you're giving tax cuts to the wealthiest people. Mm -hmm. And uh, Barack, in fact, Barack Obama wants to keep those tax cuts mm -hmm. for the working people, right. but just reinstate them. But... It, but it will affect um, Jake Tapper's tax cuts. Jake, so. Jake, see, the reason why he makes such a big deal out uh, of it is because uh, Jake Tapper is in the one percent. Yes. And this these tax cuts will affect a hundred percent of his income. Remember the debate from uh, two thousand and eight with Charlie Gibson and Snuffleupagus when half yes. of it was talking about the, the estate, estate tax. tax. Yeah. Oh. That's what these. That's what interests. That's what's of concern to these people. Yes. And if you watch any Sunday talk show they always and for years since Tim Russert they've been harping on how Medicare and Social Security have to be cut and you know and, you know my brother actually worries about the estate tax mm. and uh, you know what I tell my brother is uh, I don't think estates have two cars that don't work in the driveway <laughs> <laughs> even worse and that brings us to the second time bomb as the baby boomers retire, the commitments we've made to seniors will balloon. Over the next 75 years, Medicare will run a deficit of more than $30 trillion. That's two times the entire size of the United States economy. Social Security will run out of money in just 20 years. In short, if nothing is done, our national debt poses a clear and present danger to the United States. And yes, Politicians have been warning about the nation's debt for decades, but already this year we've seen economies destroyed by debt. Overseas in Greece, Italy, and Spain, and here at home with Stockton, California, San Bernardino. So the big question, are we next? Is the U.S. heading towards bankruptcy? So with Yes, yeah, so that's the question, Frank. Mm. Is America headed towards bankruptcy? And if not, how much longer can Jake Tapper keep scaring the shit out of the American people? Mm. Uh, 
<laughs> I like how they use the uh, uh, dominoes. Yeah. Because uh, it reminds you that the you know they they he doesn't mention the military budget at all in the yeah. entire report that uh, that we have to cut Medicare and Social Security, but we have this gigantic military budget. Even though the last time we had a big attack, it was by people with uh, box cutters. Box cutters. <laughs> But that is not mentioned at all because it's it's the seniors and the poor people that have to have to take the brunt of everything. Yeah, so he's he's worried about the tax uh -huh. cuts expiring, but he's also worried about the deficit ballooning. Mm -hmm. But what he's not worried about is contradicting himself inside of a minute and a half report. That's no. what he's not worried about whatsoever. He's not worried about. He that. said that Social Security is going to run out of money in twenty in twenty years. Mm -hmm. Run out of money in twenty years. Social mm -hmm. Security. Mm -hmm. It's not going to run out of money no. in 20 years. So I actually tweeted uh, Jake Tapper about this, especially about the Social Security thing. It kind of drove me crazy. Uh -huh. Oh, Social Security runs out of money in 20 years. doesn't run out of money in 20 years. Mm -hmm. It loses the ability to pay out 100%. But then if we do nothing, it will pay out 75% of its benefits for the next 70 years. So don't mm -hmm. listen to people who say that. And with mm -hmm. very little tweaks, they can make Social Security solvent forever, mm. okay? So don't listen to those people, okay? Mm. It's the one program that has never missed a check and has never missed anything. Mm. It's the most successful social program in the history of the world. Don't listen to people who say that mm. stuff, okay? So I actually tweeted Jake Tapper about this, and I don't know if you could see what it says. I said to him, um, I said, Jake, FYI, Social Security doesn't run out of money in 2037 like you falsely reported today on national TV, hashtag, <laughs> Hashtag corporate reporters suck. <laughs> he tweeted back to me, Jimmy Dore, it loses the ability to pay out in full because of the exhaustion of the trust fund. I was, it was nice to get Jake's, mm. it's nice that he cares enough yeah. to tweet back mm -hmm. and to continue mm -hmm. to frame it in mm -hmm. a misleading way. Mm -hmm. So then I said back to him, that's not what you said, Jake, and you know that. You said it runs out of money. Thanks for continuing to spread misinformation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He tweeted back to me. Oh. This is my second interaction with Jake mm. the Libertarian from He ABC. has plenty of time to tweet you because he's not researching stories no. or anything. <laughs> no, he's not researching. <laughs> no. Whenever he tries to watch it, he's got some, plenty of time to play solitaire yeah. and tweet people. If, whenever he's going to add some, <laughs> yeah. some needed information, yeah. he just pulls it out of his ass. <laughs> so, uh, so then he tweeted back to me, should have been clear, I agree, it runs out of enough money to pay full benefits. Oh, the reporter, mm. yeah, the guy who's supposed to clear things up, uh -huh. he did a report mm. so you could get a better understanding mm. of what's happening, and he mm. misled you. Oh, yes. yeah, I guess you're right. And some jagoff comedian, mm. i.e. me, <laughs> was able to catch him on it. <laughs> me, I'm mm. not, me, you know, I'm not Christopher Hitchens. He was, <laughs> he was, uh... The, the guy who's paid a million dollars a year, who's in the 1% to do nothing other than put together reports like this to help people understand mm. it, put something together to mislead us. And it kind of upset me, so I kind of tweeted him. And then we got into it a little bit. Here's my next tweet to him. I said, you said Medicare equals a $30 trillion deficit over 75 years. What deficit will the Pentagon run over that time? Hashtag forgot to report that. <laughs> <laughs> He writes back, I don't think you watched. I think you read a blog about the opening setup piece. We did a whole thing on Pentagon cuts and taxes. Mm -hmm. He writes respectfully, respects. He wants me to be nice to him. He's being yes. nice to me first. That's mm -hmm. like that. And I love that um, old media disdain for blogs. And <laughs> yes. internet. Oh, you probably yes. just read a blog. blog. Yeah. Okay, so what I, what, what I told him was, uh, he said, respectfully, I think if you watch it, you'll find it balanced, more balanced than you think it was. Thanks, which is his way of saying goodbye. I'm mm. done. Uh, Thanks is I'm done mm, with you. Mm. You've already called me out on two things and I'm mm. sick of it already. I've just come across this really cute cat video that I want to watch. So. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. All right, so let me see that one more time, Tim. And uh, so I, I tweeted back to him, I'm watching and re-watching on TiVo right now. Please don't change the subject like your bogus report that won't fly with me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it should bother you that you mislead your, you misled your viewers about Social Security today and ashamed of your phrasing and framing of Medicare. Mm -hmm. So I let them know how I felt. Mm -hmm. And it's nice to know that people actually hear you. Yeah, you that's know? the beauty of Twitter. And I, and I bet that Jake Tapper is going to turn around 100%. Mm -hmm. 
I bet I bet he'll stop being the corporate uh, stenographer. Oh, I'm, I'm certain of it. Yeah. Um, and you know, he did a, a story on the debt ceiling last week, and he was called out by Carrot Top. <laughs> so he's not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jake Tapper from ABC News. <laughs>